Hello, how is everybody doing today? This video brought to you by the fine folks at Mountain Dew. Just got a few garage sale items to show you. Really quick, like the last garage sale video, I did amazingly well. This is a Friday. I usually go Friday, Saturday. Saturday usually is the bigger sales, the better sales. Hold on. Hold on. I'm messing with my dog. The better sales, but... I killed it today, and I should have done something, and I didn't. I made a mistake. I'm going to show, tell you that my phone's trying to focus on the puppy. She's hard to focus on, Shima. You don't see Shima that much, much I should say. Um, what was I saying? Oh, mistake I made. Let's get into the books first. Now, these are really interesting books. I showed you some Charles Darwin books last week that will do very, very well. This was all like fantasy. Fantasy and superhero type of stuff. Let me just show you these. I paid $2 for peanut butter. All of this stuff and... I'll tell you my mistake right now. She said she had more inside. I should have said, all right, lady, go back inside and get that. I mean, not that, but I'll go inside with you. I'll help you bring out all the rest, and then I'll buy it. <laughs> and you'll see why here in a second. Two bucks, all right? Two bucks for all this. And I'll show you, tell you the most valuable things. We got Flash Gordon, all right? That's a cool... Most of these are like comic book related, so... But... Flash Gordon, the movie comic. Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is like $10 piece stuff, so... Remember, $2 for everything I'm showing you. So $10 is very, very good. This is cool. Clash of the Titans. Also a... Comic book. Buck Rogers. Just such cool stuff. Battlestar Galactica storybook. A Marvel super special. Battlestar Galactica. Again, worth about 10 bucks. Not worth a ton of money. Actually worth less than I kind of thought it would be. And this is very interesting. This, I don't know the exact price, but this is a oversized Superman comic and it says 1939 on the inside but I believe that is the date of the original down there somewhere it's a 1939 the original Superman comic so I don't think that is from there I think this is a reprint but still still very cool so like I said if they had more of this stuff I should have just said, yeah, let's go get it. Would have been... The correct response. So, hold on. We're still, still, still in the $2 haul here. We have not left the $2 haul. Some, this is all, most of this is all fancy. And I'll end with some Dungeon and Dragon books, which are... If I had the whole set, I'll tell you the price of those. These are a set by Lloyd Alexander. I'm missing number one, but that's easily 20 bucks. Easily 20 bucks. And then these are kind of your, remember Choose Your Own Adventure? If you're not a certain age, you don't remember Choose Your Own Adventure. But more fancy type books. Oh, that's Dungeons and Dragons. I'm going to save those for the end. H.G. Wells, World of Worlds, not an expensive book, but it was with these. I'm getting, I'm allergic to everything. This is more of those choose your own adventures, but look, the subject matter is the Dragon Master, amazing, like old fantasy time machine. These are easily another, these are 10 more bucks a piece. Easily, no doubt about it. There's Flash Gordon. 
This I'll probably have to throw away. It's Amazing Spider-Man, but it's volume two, but it's um, missing the cover. Maybe someone might still want it. Battlestar Galactica, more Superman. That's why she said she had more of this stuff. If she had, even if she, if she had comics, okay, that's not comics, that's Babe Ruth. Comics from the 80s, and she was going to give, like, if, hey, take this box for 10 bucks. It could have been crazy. These also sell more fancy kind of choose your own adventure books. Still, still $2, mind you. Last and by far the best, this is what caught my eye initially, is some Dungeon and Dragon books. Anytime you see Dungeon and Dragon books, game, whatever it is, Dungeon and Dragon, you can get them for cheap. Please, dear God, pick them up. If you have the whole set, and I believe there are 36, I have 1, 2, 5, 6, 11, 13. If you have the whole set, it's easily worth 500 bucks. And again, I should have asked her, hey lady, I'll help you take out all your books. <laughs> I will buy them all if you have this kind of stuff because this is amazing stuff. I probably will sell these individually since it's not a complete set or series. Again, 10 to 20 bucks individually for these on my $2 deal. That is the end of the $2 deal. Crazy, right? I know. And again, don't be afraid to ask. I was afraid to ask. She said she's tired. She couldn't grab all the books. They're heavy. And books are heavy. So I'm probably I'm going to a baseball game tomorrow. Blue Jays game in Buffalo. And I wanted to get some sleep. But I might actually wake up when the sale opens tomorrow and see if she brought any more out for tomorrow. Oh, Lone Ranger. Just because it would be worth it. Alright, now something I don't usually do, and that is pay up for something. I bought two, this is the very first sale I went to. It was closest to my house. These are two Lego sets. Another thing to always buy, if you see sealed Lego sets for I would say 20 or less, it's pretty much a no brainer. I got these for 15. She would not budge at all. These are from 2000. I want to say 16. 2016. Sealed, not open. What's this one called? Eclipse Fighter. This is about a $40 set. So, not quite double my money. But. This is what we kill it on. The at AT ST Walker. This is worth a hundred dollars all day every day. I could buy it now a hundred dollars and it would sell right away. I'll probably do an auction for a hundred, see what happens, but amazing. It's very I was there right when the sale opened. This would have been gone very quickly if I didn't get there right away because people do know about this kind of stuff and this would have been gone. All right, it's good to see you. There's some highlights from the day. Spent 40 bucks total. There's more. I got a Coleman cooler. I got some more dishes for my wife to list. Some more Steins, um, Coors Light Steins. A whole stack of like 20 ma sports magazines for a dollar. There's a Muhammad Ali one in there, a Super Bowl program in there. So we killed it. We did good again today. You guys have a fantastic weekend. Like I said, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to a Blue Jays game. Go Blue Jays. I hope you have a great weekend as well. Adios.